Hi, welcome back to another episode of Cold Trim Broad Chop. I'm Derek Fraser. In this week's episode, we're going to do something a little similar to what we did a little while ago, but not quite exactly the same. We have another 34 Ford original chassis here that's uh, in extraordinary shape. It's hardly any pitting onto it. To the best of our knowledge, it is very square and level. But nevertheless, we're going to put her up on jacks here. We're going to set the levels up and then make sure it's square from corner to corner before we start doing anything. But the difference between this chassis we're going to do and the last one, we're going to do a four bar front end on the front of this. We have an original axle that's been dropped. It's not an aftermarket one. But in the back, the customer has given us a, a setup to put a parallel leaf springs into it. I haven't done one of these before. Uh, it looks to be very straightforward, but uh, we're going to go through the process of putting parallel leafs into it as soon as he drops off the rear end. And then over on the front of here, it, you know, we've gone through and inventoried all of the parts to go into the front end. It's going to be pretty much the same thing as we did the last time. It'll be disc brakes on the front. There's a lot of speedway parts here. Uh, we have the four bars and We've got the uh, front fender braces. Uh, the shocks are going to go in the same way as they did on the last episode. I may not go into as much detail putting the front end together as we because we've covered it before, but we'll try and focus on the different thing with this one, which is putting the parallel leaf springs in the back. He's also asked us to do the uh, original pedals with the toggle mechanism like we did on the last one. So. I'm not sure if this is going to take a week or two to do, but uh, we'll try and cover it as quick as we can. Um, so follow along for 34 chassis number two. As you can see from the time lapse, I put the front axle together, put the bat wings on, the spring perches, the lower shock mounts, and the spindles, and then I mounted it in the frame. Uh, made sure that the front axle was basically square to the rear end um, after I tightened down the, uh, um, the spring mounts right there, uh, the U-bolts. Uh, next, I was putting the lower four beam, four, four link, bracket on over here and got the top ones in so both sides are in we've got the front axle sitting somewhere between um, five and seven degrees if i do all my calculations right with the way the frame is set uh, we'll double check that once we get the weight onto it and everything else but uh, pretty much uh, similar to what we did on the last 34 frame next up uh, i have to make some threaded inserts to go up underneath there for the inner fender uh, 
that goes on to 33 and 34 forwards because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting boxing plates all across the front there uh, to support uh, more than likely an engine. The customer's been talking to me about what they were doing. The last uh, 34 frame that we just did was going to get a flathead, so there's really no changes to the existing mounts. Um, but this one here, he's talking about putting a Y block into it and a S10 uh, transmission. So there's a possibility that he's going to ask us to do this within this particular project, which will involve taking the original transmission mount out and putting, I think it's a chassis engineering um, uh, transmission bracket that goes in the back there. So we're making progress on this. Uh, Going to do the boxing plates, the threaded inserts. Uh, there's a few more suspension parts to do, the upper shock mounts, and we'll wrap up the front end here. Happy New Year's everybody. I started this video just before Christmas. Um, had to stop uh, working in the shop here for about eight days through Christmas and uh, had a little bit of downtime and whatnot, but we're started back up here now. So I've been working away or just started working away on a 34 Ford chassis. I'm gonna show you what we've done and um, some of the curves as we get going here. So here are the boxing plates on the front, all welded in. As you saw previously, I used the plasma cutter to cut those out. Got them all welded in place, and then the front end is uh, it's ready to go on to the next step. Before I got onto that, the customer brought me some more parts. The rear end, uh, been in the process of putting that in. As I mentioned previously, this is a chassis engineering uh, rear end parallel leaf spring kit, which is relatively straightforward to put in. Um, they give some pretty good instructions on where to put the leaf springs right there. Uh, which I did. I've got it in place. The curveball, I guess, is that the customer provided me a 1957 Ford 9-inch rear end. Uh, he provided the U-bolts that weren't from the kit, and he also supplied these um, locating pieces that go onto the rear end. Unfortunately, they are not compatible, so what we have to do and I'll show you over here on the table. I'm going to have to modify these because essentially these are too wide. They won't fit between the spring perches. So these are for um, a 9-inch Ford rear end. The kit for chassis engineering was for an 8-inch Ford rear end. The second thing is, is that that hole right there is too big. So I actually have some sleeves here. So my plan is to weld a sleeve in and drill that out so it's the right size of the pin in the leaf spring so i'm going to modify these now and then uh, hopefully we can get her together here in a few minutes here's the first bracket it's narrowed to two and an eighth inch wide which is what it should be for i guess for an eight inch ford um, what i did i took a little piece of this sleeve here i cut a piece off and like i said i welded it into this hole um, sectioned Basically, I think it was five sixteenths of an inch out of each side and then welded it along the outside here and dressed everything off. And then on the inside, you can see where I welded it from the inside too. So I'm not going to dress the inside here because you're not going to see it. And Well, I guess it would be look prettier if I did, but really I'm just going to leave it the way that it is right now. I did take this, um, put it in the rear end, and check it with the U-bolts. Um, the U-bolts fit just right, um, and everything is ready to go. So I just have to now repeat the process on this piece here, and then we will be ready to do the final install on the rear end and the parallel leaf strings. Here we have it. Uh, I've got the rear end in. The brackets uh, turned out good. I shortened the second one and I put a fresh coat of paint on both of those. Once I get the paint onto it, I put the rear end in. Had to basically center the rear end up, uh, then also make sure that we are at three degrees on the pinion angle. So put that in, tightened it up, double checked it again, 
and, and also double check the wheelbase. Um, everything should, in theory, line up because there's dowel pins on the bottom of the springs. I didn't move the location of the dowel pins of the brackets that went on the bottom of the axles. One thing, probably once the car is completely set up, we more than likely, or I'll tell the customer that uh, we, he probably should get these brackets actually tack welded to the axle. Uh, right now, as tight as what they are, they're not going to move, but once everything's on, all the weight's onto it, it's possible the pinion angle may change slightly, but ultimately at the end of the day, what we want is the pinion angle to be like the exact same angle as the engine. So that's another thing that uh, this project has changed into. The previous 34 chassis we built, we didn't put the engine into it because there was he was just going to put a flathead into it. He's actually still working on it right now. But what he's asked us to do, because he likes so much what we did with the Y block and the 32 Ford, was he wants to put a Y block in this chassis. So what he did, he brought me a basically a I assume this is a stuck engine, but basically it's a, a setup engine or a mock engine. It's a 292, I think, out of a passenger car. He brought me a bell housing, an adapter, an Offenhauser adapter that basically goes onto a Y block and adapts to a 39 Ford transmission. Then he brought me an adapter from Speedway that adapts from a 39 forward or on a 39 flathead, uh, 39 flathead, um, well, from a flathead, anyways, to an S10 transmission. So we've got two adapters which make up the bell housing, which will go on the back of the Y block, and then we have the S10 transmission that's been rebuilt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean these all up a little bit, just get some of the crap off of it. It's, it's just a little bit messy. Take the old engine mounts off and anything else that's in the way. Uh, put the two adapters on, put the transmission on, and then we're going to try and position it in here. Uh, to make it easy for us, so that because we don't have the body, he supplied us with a 34 Ford cowl and a 34 Ford radiator. So I'll be setting those up on the frame uh, with the radiator. Uh, basically doing the same thing we did on the 32 Ford. There's still a little bit more work to do on the front end here because another twist was that, you know, even though the choices were made for this front end, it's still sitting a little bit too high. So I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to take one leaf out, to it, out of it and I may re-arc the leaf springs a little bit just to bring it down because uh, this is an original axle. I think it's only dropped two and a half or three inches. And we have an original front cross member, which is sits relatively high. We need to get the front end down just a little bit. So going to keep working on this. Uh, deadline for the video here is in, within the next 24 hours. So going to try and get a few more things up to get this video to a conclusion. Well, come to a little bit of a roadblock here. Um, did successfully take the spring off. And I took the top spring um, out, which is kind of like what we did on the other 34 frame. I uh, Also, uh, there's a bracket that goes up underneath that the U-bolt took into. So since I took a leaf out, I had to build that up. Um, I took a picture of it, so we'll insert that. So that was done. Kind of happy with that. The one problem that came up is that once I was moving the suspension up and down, you know, the customer told me the point blank, you know, this, this customer has been building hot rods for probably 30 years or so, got buildings full of parts. Um, he basically pulled together a bunch of parts that he had from different builds over the years and stuff that he had. And, you know, we're putting frames together for him and stuff. Um, but one thing that happened was like, and I talked to him about it. We think that these are quite old bushings. So, when I was moving the arms up and down, the bushings started to disintegrate. So we kind of have to stop here. I reached out to Welder Series, who I deal with quite a bit. Um, they make replacement bushings that fit into these, the exact same size. So, so we're going to get some brand new urethane bushings and replace all of the bushings on the front end. So right now I'm going to 
mess around with this a little bit more. Um, probably do a little bit more assembly work and wait for the bushings to come in, replace them all uh, to get that going. So I, from there, um, as I said, you know, the intention was to put mock up the Y block and fit it in the frame and kind of get my bearings as to whether or not we have to replace the center transmission mount or use the customer supplied one, see where it fits in there. But the first step was basically to clean up the old junk Y block here, fit on the Y block to 39 Ford transmission adapter, then fit the 39 Ford transmission adapter to the S10. So the first adapter um, took a while to get it on because it had been sitting around for a while. We had to retap all the holes and clean everything up. And then there's there's two um, uh, there's two pins that locate on, so those had to be cleaned out. Got that in there, no problem. We got this piece on, and then I tried to put the S10 transmission in. So. I think probably because we're using two adapters, which ultimately think this transmission thinks it's going into a flathead forward, um, and this adapter thinks it's going to a flathead, flathead forward transmission. Um, we've got an issue with the length of the input shaft on the S10. I think because it's a Y block, um, the input shaft won't go in far enough. So reached out to the customer to see what we can do. The one thing he had supplied to me before, because we thought we were going to go that way, was he has an adapter here that would go to a Y block bell housing and the S10 transfer, uh, the S10 transmission. So I'm thinking that's what we're going to have to reverse and do. Um, so with both of these issues, <laughs> the bushings and now trying can't get the transmission in. We kind of run out of time for this week, so um, there's more to come. Uh, we're going to carry on working with this and working through the problems over the next week, and hopefully we can get a lot further ahead. So that's it for this week. Please like, share, tag, and subscribe, and join us next week and see how we get on the 34 Ford, trans 34 Ford chassis number two.